Prague, good morning guys. Look at this. <laughs> How nice is this? So we are in Vancouver, Canada, if I didn't make that clear. We have got one day here yes. before we get on this cruise ship just there. So we're not doing too bad as well this morning. We woke up about 4 a.m. Yep. And I was excited. I was like, to Kev, we're gonna have a Tim Hortons this morning for breakfast. And he was like, let's try and go back to sleep. Yeah. But now I'm feeling okay. Yeah. The jet lag is, I think I'm so excited of what's to come. The jet lag is just, what jet lag? Yes, exactly. It's gone now. We're here. <laughs> and as Stacey did say, we are having a Tim Hortons. We've we already are. got them. They're here, Luke, Tim Hortons. But yeah, like I said, we've got one full day here. We are going to go to the Capilano Bridge. Yes. Uh, that looks really good. We want some poutine. We want to try definitely. and get over <laughs> to Stanley Park if we've got time. Yeah, definitely. Where we're standing now, we've just actually come down to where we'll be catching the cruise from tomorrow. So it's the Canada Place Terminal. If, if you wonder what that is. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like they said, Canada Place. Uh, cruise terminal is just there. There's the Sapphire Princess in at the moment. Yeah, we thought we'll just come in there uh, because it's not far from the hotel. We thought we'll come and just have a quick look where we got to get the cruise ship from tomorrow. But I'm just so excited to definitely get to the Capilano Bridge. It looks absolutely yes. amazing. And that's why we're down here as well because the free shuttle bus is just by the cruise terminal. Yeah. So we're going to munch these Tim Hortons very quickly and then get on this bus. You can't have a Tim Hortons when you're in Canada, of course right? I Like I said, when you're in Canada, you've got to have a Tim Hortons, right? So I've just had a honey dip donut and a cold brew. Because I can never get cold brew in the UK. They're supposed to do it, but every time I go into like a Starbucks or something, like, we haven't got any cold brew today. Thanks. So I've managed to get some from Tim Hortons. Now we have had a Tim Hortons donut in the UK before, but they're not the same, are they? I couldn't tell already this is like so fresh and so much cheaper. I'll just try mine. As we are in Canada, I've had to have a Canadian dipped one. It's got so much frosting on, and who's ever had a donut here like this? Not me. Never had a donut with such a view. And so many helicopters and aeroplanes. Don't know what's going on here. Look at that though. Absolutely stunning. Oh my God, that's so soft. <laughs> that's nothing like the ones we get back in the UK. Oh, it's got custard in as well. What a breakfast. So we are literally wetting ourselves already with excitement and we've only come from the hotel down to here because it's just so beautiful and I was just saying to Kev how nice is it going to be tomorrow when we actually get on the ship and set sail from here it's just going to be so nice with like the backdrop oh we haven't even got to the Capilano bridge yet and that's even even more amazing I'm ready to get another donut to you Kev I'm not though no I won't no. you're so nice with the so soft right so there's kind of the place we were just down there that's the cruise terminal and this is where you will get your Capilano suspension bridge buzz the free shuttle there's one here do you reckon we'll make it should we go ask if they can fit two more of us on let's go see my yeah. little squeeze is on quick if not are they every 15 minutes every 15 minutes yeah. this time of year if yes not, we'll have to wait and look at this beautiful scenery this one's full got to wait 15 minutes for the next one but we're second in line so uh should get a good seat gives us time to finish these uh, <laughs> drinks off because stacy's barely touched his she's a slow I, drinker i was just trying to drink it quick in case we did get on that bus in case we can't take them on there but i've got 15 minutes now to she's a slow drink eat. slow drinker but a quick eater yeah <laughs> but uh, thanks <laughs> it's true yeah. So we're in now. Uh, we pre-booked our tickets direct through the Capilano website. It was $62.95 Canadian dollars each. And that included the free shuttle as well. So, uh, and they say on average, you can take like two and a half to three hours to get all the way around. And if you haven't pre-booked tickets, you can still get that buzz here. Yes. And then there's a ticket booth at the yeah, beginning yeah. where you go and purchase tickets. So you don't have to pre-boot no. them. But we're just in now we're gonna have a potter about because there's all stuff there's more than just the bridge there's like a lot of history about the place as well so we're gonna learn something today and we've got really really nice weather really nice yeah, we've dropped <laughs> luckily on today. yes so there's 13 like points of interest on the map number one is story center i'm guessing this is looks like a history of the looks maybe like they used to mine stuff here and so we are going to learn so much stuff today that we hadn't got a clue about there's a picture of a dog up there how adorable I said there was a picture of a dog. 
his name is Brian and they called the son Brian as well they named the son after the dog because surely that dog looks older than that son I can just hear the river so the river I don't know if you can make it out just through the trees over there is the Capilano River so that's why it's called the Capilano Bridge and there's a sneak peek of it just through those trees there we can see it Oof, looks scary because it is a very big very high up suspension bridge so the second section is we're going to call it Calle Polano because I'm, I'm pronouncing it kind of similar to like Hawaiian-ish but this is like all the the uh, the native people's art like the totem poles and all the cool stuff like this we've been in here like five minutes and me face is just aching already because I'm just I'm just smiling because it's just so amazing so this is Mary Capilano she's one of the native people and she used to cross the river into Vancouver every day on a, a dugout canoe and this is a replica of her canoe here so we've got a few larger uh, totem poles here I love these totem poles I love like the meaning and the symbolism between like the the natives and the animals as you can see they're all, all different ones different size you got this middle one here has got like an I'm guessing there's this bald eagle in the middle there we've seen them with whales and fish and other birds so if you want to know more about the history of like the totem poles and the symbolism behind them they do do talks throughout the day as well so you can try and catch one of these as well so the bridge is 70 meters high so if you compare it to the uh, statue of liberty it's basically up to a chin it's also 137 meters long and stacy is just figuring out how strong the bridge is more importantly so it holds uh 13 it could sustain the weight of 1300 people or 96 elephants I, I think I prefer the sound of 1,300 people than 96 elephants. <laughs> but they do, they limit it because it does get a bit congested down there. And it's swinging slightly. Ooh. At least it isn't windy today though. Right, so while we wait for that queue to die down a little bit, they do have a shop. Stacey's already, oh my God, I've got that shirt. I've got that, got exact, that exact same, shirt. same shirt. And I've brought it with me. Have you? Yeah. So yeah, Stacey wants to see what she can buy after. But honestly, do I look like that in this shirt? To be fair, yeah. So in the shop they do have some uh, merch as well. We've got like the hoodies there. These are pretty cool. Uh, they've also got a t-shirt the same. So they've got a few more hoodies and merchy bits. They've got some like mugs here and caps. They've got some uh, like traditional uh, totem pole style stickers over there. Look Has cool. Anthony Kiedis from the Red Hot Chili Peppers got the big totem pole yeah, tattoo he's, on well, his back. Well, it's not the totem pole, but he's got the like eagle. The, yeah, like the eagle yeah. anti, yeah. Oh, they've also got some, like, just Canadian merch. They've got, like, a Canada Spirit jersey. Was that 55? Uh, 55 55 yeah. And they've got, like, the, the mugs are nice, the Capilano bridge mugs. And then they've also got the little uh, Cheers Canada shot glasses or toothpick holders as they're sometimes called oh, so they actually sell the bear shirt that is pretty much exactly the same as mine honestly mine didn't cost a hundred dollars though i think mine was like 15 from h&m looks the same though so we just come out of the gift shop we're going to do the cliff walk first uh this seemed least less busy than the suspension bridge because everyone's probably gone to there first uh i won't record walking down these steps because <laughs> I'll probably end up breaking my neck. So we'll see you down there. So Kev's just said, you go down first and I'll record you going down. No, you just want me go down first. See if, um... yeah. <laughs> yeah. See if it's safe. See if that wood's rotten or not. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> At least this one doesn't swing. You get a, a good view of the river there. I'm already freaking out because I can feel it vibrating. Let's just g go this way, go this way. Oh my God, if my heart, my heart fell a little bit then. Oof. This netting is a bit, uh, oh, oof, shush. bit loose. <laughs> it's just connected into the wall with, Ooh. there's no way. Uh, if you're afraid of heights then this is no good. No. We just got a good shot of the bridge. Oh, is there, oh, well there's the bridge. So there you go, that's how high up the bridge is. Oh my, can we get his money back Stace? Oh, she's gone. Can we get his money back? <laughs> I'm kind of freaking out. Oh. <laughs> you can lead the way this time. I've already checked that other piece for rotten wood. Well, let's go back turn. that way then. <laughs> oh, there's people that way. Come on. 
this is just like it's so amazing it's so beautiful it's only all done with that oh. ah it's secure oh my god did you, feel, did you jump then no oh. Oh. I feel it shaking so Kev's just shouted I don't like this and has uh, like moved shaking. on very quickly it's not shaking that much it is when you don't like stuff like that Come you just on. feel it like this. Kev doesn't like floors in general, do you? Not really. So after the, the curved part up some steps, they've got like this metal grate. I can I can stand on metal grates. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. So you wouldn't go on like the water bridge, but you'll stand on this. I'm on only two seconds. See now this one's making me feel queasy. Oh, it's because you can see through it. <laughs> oh no, I don't like it back this way. Well anyway, there's the river. So we've got this photo point. Stacey's been very brave and walking out on the uh, metal crates. Photo time. Oh, see, even the dog's scared. Go on, it's not just me. Look. So it tells you that more than two million salmon are released into the river every year. That river doesn't look big enough to hold more than two million salmon. But it's food for the bears. Is there any bears? Oh, I'd love to see a bear. You've seen one at the gift shop wearing a shirt. My shirt. How cute would it be to see a real bear walking around in oh, that shirt? Well, you <laughs> might you might see one. Stay tuned for the Alaska videos because I'm going to wear yeah. it in Juno. And if one eats me, you'll see him wearing my shirt. Right, so we're at the top of the stairs at the cliff walk. And if you like us, you're going to be knackered because there's a lot of steps. So there's this little garden here with a little, it's like a little Zen garden with some benches over here you can sit on if like us you're sweating and you need to sit down five honestly right Stacy <laughs> since we've walked from that little zen garden a bit I mean we're still walking through it it's nice here it's quiet because I think we were just saying I think everyone's gone to the bridge first that yeah. looked really busy so they've got walk all the way around to get to that cliff walk there and all of it Stacy going oh that smells nice <laughs> Oh, it smells like steak. Oh, it smells nice. I don't know if we're like near the re I think there's a restaurant here. It smells like yeah, it was by the gift steak shop. is cooking. It smells absolutely delicious. I know we've had that Tim Hortons donut, but I, do, I could eat a piece of steak or... Oh. Right, we're going to brave the bridge. Stacey's going first again for safety purposes. The, the steps are part of the bridge and they're rocking as well. Oh my goodness. Look, you can see swaying and bouncing. I, that's freaky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> even the dog, there's a dog in front and even he doesn't want to walk. He's picked him up, you pick you up, Kevin. Yeah, please. Well. Look at each way now. Oh. Oh. This is up on TikTok, I mean, it's really upsetting. YouTube. Oh god. <laughs> you look how I feel. <laughs> That river does not look that deep for us to fall into and, and be safe. I was going to say when we were watching him there, he wasn't swinging this much. No, he definitely was not swinging this much. Unless it's like an optical illusion, you can't tell. We can feel the old jelly legs now. Oh my goodness. I'm glad you said legs and not belly. Is this one safe? Needed a drink, steady my nerves. It's non alcoholic, so it's not really steadying my nerves much, is it? We'll go back on that bridge. It was a little bit shaky. I'm shaking after the price of these. It's like $13 for two bottles of Pepsi. Stacey almost had a lot, actually. Went, How much? So we're just going down now on the nature's boardwalk to. Was it Raptor Ridge? Raptor Ridge. I just heard one of the guides saying that works here to look up in the trees because you might see like a bald eagle. He says so, especially while you're on the bridge. Yes, yeah. But it looks I'd love like to see one. Yes. But it looks like they've got a little a, maybe a hut down here or a pen. Maybe they've got one that's uh, been rescued down there. Hopefully, because it'd be nice to see one while we're here. Right, so we've seen an eagle catching some salmon. It might be wooden, but we've seen one. But they do have a Harris hawk, a Saker falcon and a great horned owl and the lady was saying that the Saker falcon is the quickest animal on the planet from like a standing 
start it can go up to 100 miles an hour and it's the second fastest like when it's diving down to catch prey she said like 200 miles an hour So with the suspension bridge as well, you can go across it as many times as you like. It's not like you can only go on it once. So if you want to walk across, have a walk around this way and then go back, back it if you want, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, you can spend, it's not limited. No, you can spend all day here if you want. They say two to three hours, but you can sp spend all day here if you want yeah. to get your money's worth. Right, so we're just underneath the bridge now and uh, we're just inspecting it for rotten pieces. It's all wood, apart from the metal, frames to hold the pipes it's all wood and you can really see how shaky it is now i just said to cab you just don't look you're better off not looking because we won't go on it for a second time yeah they shouldn't have this but here. they shouldn't have it they'll give you a warning close your eyes while you're walking through so if you notice all along the walkways there are lights and i think it's over winter time when they light it all up and i bet it looks absolutely beautiful i bet it looks absolutely amazing yeah just means we'll have to come back at winter sometime exactly don't it cash yeah definitely <laughs> can you imagine it all just lit up though oh i think there's a page on the website if i can find it i'll put a picture on now with there because we got excited at first we were like oh my god it, it's lit <laughs> up at night we we'll come. come at it night yeah before yeah. we come we'll come like oh when we were booking it. so this what you can see in the trees now is the treetop adventure little suspension bridges between each of the trees so if you're not a fan of big ones Here's some little ones for you instead. So we are definitely getting our steps in today. And Stacy said, we will have earned that poutine. And I said, and a box of donuts. So Kev's making me go first again for safety purposes, right Kev? Yes, you are the crash test dummy of Capilano suspension bridge. Yay. Go on crash test dummy. Make sure it's safe for me. Oh, it's a little bit bouncy. Right, let's go back, let's go back. <laughs> Don't be a wimp. What was that? <laughs> Kev's turn this time, go first. <laughs> so uh, Kev was saying before that you can get annual passes for you. Yes. And we were saying if you could, oh my goodness, we'd be here all the time. I'd, I'd love to be here when the salmon are running and the bears are here the lights oh. are on the walkways yes the bald eagles ladybirds butterflies anything all beautiful here so i like the use of like the the old cut down logs like you can't go all the way across but they've got like this one it's like a little bridge with a little lookout to this How no fishing house? <laughs> gone birds watching house just like the nice use of the materials in the forest they don't waste anything I keep saying it but all we keep saying when we walk around is wow wow it's just so beautiful it really is so you have to go back over the bridge of doom that's what i'm calling it now the bridge of doom you've got no choice you've got to come back over it Oh, jeez. It isn't all that bad. It isn't all that bad. I can't stand up properly without holding on this rail. <laughs> Free hand. <Ooh>. Yeah, see? <laughs> it's a lot worse when people are walking past you the other way as well. Just bear that in mind. Right, so the buzz dropped us back off now. We did jump on that very quickly because there was one just going. Yeah, so like we said at the beginning, it just drops you off in the same place you get on. So just by yeah. uh, Canada Place. Yes, which is right next to... We've ended up back in Tim Hortons again. It was rude not to. I wish I'd had a second donut this morning, but we've ended up with a donut each and a. have had a cheese biscuit. I've had some garlic and a pastry thing. We, we shouldn't have told them that. We shouldn't have told them that. We should have just had to eat and not told you. So we are going to head to Stanley Park yes. and we are going to have that poutine, but we're going to have it a little bit later on, hence why we've just had the Tim Hortons. But um, Capilano 
um, suspension bridge, absolutely amazing. Yeah, really, really rated. recommend it. It was, just, it was absolutely beautiful. Yeah, stunning. Uh, you will get your steps in, so wear comfy shoes and comfy clothing. Maybe wear layers, because we did get a little bit hot, and I wish I could have took this yeah, jumper off. Yeah, it was really warm. <laughs> to justify us doing all them steps, that's why we ended up here again. Yes, it's exactly. what we tell ourselves anyway. It's what we're telling you as well. <laughs> I can't wait to try some poutine though. Poutine. But let's head to Stanley Park. Yes. yes. Right, so we completely forgot because we were totally mesmerised by the tasty pastries and donuts from Tim Hortons that we did buy this from the Capilano uh, Suspension Bridge gift shop. Yeah, we collect the American state ones. Uh, we've got them on like the downstairs bathroom wall. So we're going to add a Canadian one to it as well. So it's just going to have to be the North American toilet wall now yeah <laughs> stanley park is just over there and then as we were walking past we did see this uh is this an 8-bit or a 16-bit orca uh we are hoping stacy is so desperate to see one of these when we go on the whale watching trip in alaska in oh, juneau really? so i don't think it's the season for you never more. know no. you never know with these orcas you never know because after dogs they are my second favorite animal so i'd like to see one in the wild but that one will do for now. So we're at Stanley Park now. It was a fair old walk because that's where we got dropped off in the buzz and we had to go all the way. Sorry, that's a seaplane. All the way. Like to here and then we had to come snake all the way to here. Oh, and it's warm as well. It's worth it for the views. There you go, there's the seaplane. So in the park, they've got these totem poles which are really, really nice. And they do have signs telling you what is. I know it's really sunny. I don't know if you can see it or not. What each one is. So this one here at the top is a Thunderbird. Then it's a killer whale. Then it's a wolf. It says the wise one, a mythical bird, a bear, and then a raven. And just to let you know how big uh, Stanley Park is, scale wise, it's a fifth bigger than Central Park. And we didn't go all the way around Central Park, so we're not going to go all the way around Stanley Park. We've come to this bit. This is like the bottom little covey part. I'll put a picture on because this is where the totem poles are and there was nice views of the harbour over that way. So that's where we're going to go now and see what we can see. Right, so down that way is Vancouver Harbour. And then just to the left here is the Lions Gate Bridge, just in the distance there. Now we did cross over it to that on the buzz earlier on when we were going to the Capilano bridge so there's some really really nice views when we were crossing over there so we're just having five minutes on a bench with a lovely view in front of us in the shade in the, sh in the shade yeah there's nice breeze here it's so so warm today and we've got jumpers on i know i've got shorts <laughs> on but we've got jumpers on and it is warm uh, there is a little gift shop at stanley park and i've just been in and bought a little vancouver t-shirt and i was debating putting it on but I think it's about 5pm now is it? 4 5pm? 4. About 4, yeah 4pm four. 4 it is, yeah. Hopefully the sun goes yeah. in a little bit And soon. we've, uh, the, the gift shop is the one by the totem poles. Yeah. I don't know if there is another one, but just to point out, there is one by the totem poles if you do want some gifts. <laughs> I'll be okay I think, I'll save the t-shirt for another day. Right, so we had a plan. This plan is getting messed up. If you watched the last video, the uh, travel vlog to Vancouver, you will have known that we had trouble with my uh, network charging me a lot of money. <laughs> uh, I ended up eventually buying a five pound data passport, which only lasts for 24 hours. I'm with the network three. So it's just run out. You're just trying to get another one. Yes. And uh, I've had to traipse across to the Vancouver Aquarium Here's a tip, if you come to Stanley Park, this is the only place that has free Wi-Fi. <laughs> because uh, we're trying to buy another one because you can't buy them in more than 24 hour blocks, which is stupid. And then it turns out the system is currently under maintenance or some spiel, so I can't buy one. Because what we were going to do is get an Uber or a Lyft back to the poutine, to a poutine place to a poutine place the one that's got good reviews and does all meats and stuff on and it looks amazing it's it, like we're just gonna have to walk it's a 45 minute walk i know that doesn't sound like much but don't forget you've watched us already traipse across uh the capilano bridge <laughs> and we've walked across here and around the park a bit 
And did you say we're up to about 20,000 steps? Doing all right, aren't we? And if we got a lift from here, or an Uber, or a lift, you have to go, it's a one-way system, you have to go all the way around the park. It's, it's going to cost yeah. a lot of money. So we're in a bit of a catch-22 situation. I think we're just going to have to walk it. It's a beautiful park, though, by the way. Yes. Yeah, it's go absolutely gorgeous. Not sure how much the aquarium is we would to go look in. but i can't oh i can i can look, oh, on, yeah. the free wi -Fi. You can look on the free wi-fi i'll put the price yeah. on the screen if you if it looks nice so what we might end up doing is walking out to the park back to the city try find a starbucks but we can piggyback on the wi-fi and maybe order an uber from there by the time we've done that we'll probably just end up walking back to be fair probably i want poutine anyway we double checked again the price came down like ten dollars so uh, there's one who's accepted it he's just there we couldn't uh, it would have taken his ages walk to that poutine place so we buckled it's 20 canadian dollars which is what about 12 13 pounds which isn't bad it's saving us a, a 45 minute walk but we'll have to have a small maybe medium poutine now and not a large one yes yeah, we haven't earned a large one speak for yourself so i don't know if you can see it but that is a bald eagle there's another two of them flying in between those trees over there so yeah, they've got that, that one over there has got the white tail. So oh, we can say we've finally seen a bald eagle, not just a wooden carved one at the Capolino bird bit. So that actually took longer to get the Uber than it would if we had walked, but we didn't have to walk. So <sighs> saved us little feet. There was so much traffic, especially coming out of Stanley Park. It was it all was, one it, way. Yeah, once the we park. got out of there, we didn't take long at all, but no. it took ages to get out of there. But I'm going to show you this quick because it's burning my hands off, even though we've had it for about 15 minutes now. So we've got two, these are medium by the way, two medium poutines. And then if you watch our other videos, you will know that we have to buy a Starbucks mug from everywhere we go. So we've got the Vancouver one, which looks really cool by the way. We'll, I'll put a picture on screen now because I'm a bit you know got no spare hands let's say so we uh, yeah we got that i don't think it was the most expensive but we wanted the cheapest like 21 dollars or something like that we don't mind we love collecting them but we need to eat this poutine right so i'm going to try mine first because mine was on top and like we said before these are hotter than anything so we're not going to mess about now i've had the deluxe smoked meat one there was loads to choose from you could have your regular standard poutine which is just fries cheese curds and gravy but we went for ones with a bit of extraness to them so mine's got smoked meat mushrooms and onions oh now the fries are fresh made fries because we saw them being made there these were like i think i said before from la bal bala patate it had really really good reviews on google i think it was like maybe 4.6 i am stalling a little bit just to let this fork cool down let's just have at it that oh, good. Oh, that's so <laughs> nice. It smells good. I think mine was $14 for, for the, the medium. medium one. But because that's got the smoked meat in and loads of smoky, smoky meat. That nice barbecue style gravy on this one because it came with the smoked meat. That cheese is nice and salty. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, wish I got a large now. So like we said before, we've only got the one full day in Canada and I was adamant before we come that I wanted to try poutine. Now, I've said this before in other videos, I can be a bit fussy over my cheese. So I was a bit worried whether I'm gonna like it or not, but here goes. But they are just plain cheese curds, which is a salty, very mild cheese. But you know what I'm like. Kev. I know, I know. <laughs> So, I mean, you have got a bit better recently where I've got you on a more mature cheddar cheese. Yes, so I have gone a bit this, more mature. this should be a walk in the park for you. Literally, we are in the park. So I've gone for the barbecue chicken one. This smells so nice. All right, here goes. I've got a bit of chicken, chips and curds on there. So here goes. Oh my goodness, that's so nice. Isn't that nice? At home, I never have chips and gravy. But that is oh that Yours is was a barbecue chickeny gravy. I'm so, oh that is so so nice. Are you yeah, wishing the same as me? We got a large now. I'm just to be honest, I'm just grateful that because the medium is quite big. I'm yeah. just grateful that I like the cheese. I'm gonna have the cheese curds just on their own because I was a bit worried that it's gonna go to waste yeah. if I didn't like it. Yeah, when I tried a, a curd on its own quick, it just was salty. 
Mm, yeah, but it is salty. It needs yeah. it. It's, it's dead nice. Oh, that is so nice. I mean, the place we went to, you could just buy the curds on their own. Mm. So I think I've said before, but the fries are made fresh in there. They honestly. have lost, we will say this, they have lost a little crunch because they, they have been sitting in this for probably, yeah. say, 10 to 15 minutes while we walk to this little park. I just honestly think that's one of the, that's the nicest gravy I've ever, ever had. Right, so that poutine was polished off. Oh, it was. There was two empty trays left. If I had some bread, I would have sopped up all that extra <laughs> gravy as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that would have been nice. I've had such a lovely day. And like, say, first time we've been to Canada. Yep. Unfortunately, like we said, it is only the one day that we've got here. But I've been saying to Kev all day, Anta, that we will be back to Canada again. Definitely. I'd love to do like a road trip or something yes. like that. I definitely want to come back and experience more of Canada. Yeah. We've absolutely loved it. Yes, we, it's an amazing place. Uh, but tomorrow we've got to get on that cruise to Alaska. We have, yeah. Which we're really looking forward to. Too. Yeah, but we have got to go back now because we've got to just sort a few of the cases out. So we've got another early start tomorrow when we board the cruise. So, yeah. Loud like car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got, yeah, we've got another early got morning. To, so. We want to make sure we're fresh for tomorrow. Jet lag has kicked in a little bit now. Yes. Yeah, has it yeah. with you? A little bit. I was okay and then I feel like now I've hit a wall yeah. a little bit. Well, we so. have been busy. We've done a lot today, so we, yeah, we deserve we an early-ish night. Yes. But make sure you hit that like button. Give us a comment as well. What did you think of uh, Vancouver if you've been? Or does it look like a nice place you'd like to visit? Yeah. And uh, make sure you subscribe as well, because like I said, there's loads of great travel content coming your way after this one. But, are you ready to walk down to the hotel? Yeah, let's go. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll <laughs> see, see you next time. time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.